Why don't you um, give me an overview on the field house? Yeah, so our, our board had a special meeting on uh, February 15th and, and they gave us uh, the green light to move forward on the field house concept. And so now it's time for our senior leadership team to operationalize that concept. And so the first things we're going to do is we are going to engage architects uh, and interview them and ultimately select an architect for the project. And then uh, from there we'll get a general contractor on board. And then it's a process of really involving all the key stakeholders that will be utilizing the field house and, and getting them intimately involved in the design and development of the space. Uh, so that's a process, uh, we'll, you know, hopefully that we'll get to groundbreaking by fall and then we're looking at 12 months to 18 months of the actual construction project. So the concept is that we're going to have a, you know, a couple hundred thousand square foot field house. Uh, it will uh, be at a cost of up to 34 million and uh, really the activities that will take place in it will consist of a regulation size soccer field regulation size football field, and then uh, two more basketball courts adjacent to the current two that are in the Wellness Center, and then some space for our rehab services, lots of racket uh, activities uh, and different activities for kids, and, uh, and probably a splash pad uh, out front uh, for kids during warmer weather, and uh, much, much more. But uh, again, we're just kind of in the starting phases, conceptual phases, and uh, we're going to really put some detail to it and uh, I will be happy to update you as this project uh, moves along. So what will it do for Columbus? Well, I think it's a great asset uh, uh, in terms of our continuation of our wellness initiative, Fieldhouse being the first, or the uh, wellness center being the first thing that we did, Fieldhouse will be the second thing. And again, it's, it's really just a, a great asset for the community. We want everybody in the community to be able to use it. We want to make it affordable for everybody. And uh, we want people to get active. We want people to, uh, to really uh, improve their health, uh, their mental well-being, and, uh, and their nutrition. And so those are the kinds of activities and things that we'll be providing in terms of education and uh, our cooking demonstration area in the Wellness Center. Uh, to continue to improve the health and wellness of the community that we serve and, and that really uh, speaks directly to our mission.